So daratumumab is uh, one anti CD38 monoclonal antibody. In fact, uh, the first anti CD38 monoclonal antibody approved for the treatment of relapsed and refractory myeloma patients here in the US. Daratumumab has demonstrated to be effective as single agent. And for me, this is uh, the main thing, the main important thing. In the serious trial, uh, Approximately 100 relapsed and refractory myeloma patients received the daratumumab single agent at a dose of 16 mg per kilo. Approximately 30% of the patients responded to daratumumab single agent. This is important, but it's much more important to evaluate the patient population who were included in this trial. All of them were double refractory to proteasome inhibitors and imids. But this trial was mainly conducted in the US, so most of the patients included in this trial received not only bortezomib, thalidomide, lenalidomide transplant, but also the second generation proteasome inhibitors, carfilzomib, and the second generation immunomodulatory drugs like pomalidomide. So at the end, the patient population who received the daratumumab single agent were an unmet medical need because these patients had not any other therapeutic alternative. So it's very relevant that 30% of the patients responded to DARA single agent with uh, deep responses because uh, some patients achieved complete response, some patients achieved VGPR. In addition, with this uh, efficacy, with this uh, response rate, it's also important to focus on the duration of the response because uh, when patients responded, the median duration of response was of approximately eight months. And for me, this is important because this translated into an important benefit in terms of overall survival. And in fact, the median overall survival had not been reached. And when we focused on the patient who responded, the median survival is significantly longer in comparison with the classical trial conducted by Saji Kumar some years ago in which this patient population had not a survival superior to eight months. So for me, this is clearly relevant because the efficacy for daratumumab as single agent is remarkable. As far as safety profile, I would like to remark the infusion-related reactions. They can appear in approximately 40-43% of the patients, but most then occurred during the first infusion, and uh, they can be safely managed with pre-medication. All patients need to receive pre-medication with corticosteroids, uh, paracetamol, and antihistamines, and uh, if a reaction occurs during the infusion, physicians have to know that they have to stop the infusion repeat the pre-medication, and in most of the cases, patients can restart again the infusion. Other side effects, uh, anemia or neutropenia or thrombocytopenia, uh, but I think that these uh, adverse events are much more related with the disease because uh, the progression disease is observed in many patients more than uh, with a safety profile directly related with the administration of daratumumab.